and welcome to Learn Redstone with me. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to explain to you how and why item sorters work. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have made these before. Um, I know that when I first made them, I had absolutely no idea how this worked because I'm kind of adult, but <laughs> I figured it out. So I'm going to I'm going to show you guys exactly why it works. And one thing you got to know is uh, these hoppers here, they give off a redstone, a varying redstone signal, depending on how many items they have in there. Now, if it has 22 items in there, it gives off one uh, one power, so the comparator will actually just give off one. And if you put just one more thing in there, it's going to give off two. Okay, that's very important. That's the entire uh, reason why these things work like this, because you'll see that there are uh, 22 items in this, and then it's going to uh, light that one up, and it's going to power this thing, and it makes the whole thing work. So let's go ahead and uh, get started working on it. So what you need to do, you need to have at least two chests for this to work. This is going to sort out your items. So this is the front here, obviously. So you go to the back. And I always like to make sure I put something like uh, upside down stairs above this so you can still open your chest there. But let's go ahead and build this and I'll kind of walk you through why it works. Now we're going to do this backwards, okay? So what you need to do is you're going to try to be putting items from a hopper into a chest. So you're going to take your, your hoppers and just put them into the chest like that. Now you want this one um, to be blocked. So in order to lock a hopper, you actually need to power it. So this redstone torch right here is going to power this one, which is going to lock it. So anything that goes in there, Nothing's actually going to go into the chest there. It's locked. It can't, it can't do anything with it. So in order to unlock that, what you need to do is actually um, power it, power this block. If you power this block here, then that redstone will tor uh, that torch will turn off. Okay. So that makes it unlocked. So it's locked now. I'm going to put one of those guys in there. All right. I'm going to put this there. It's going to turn off and now it's unlocked. So that is now in that chest there. Okay. So you, to, in order to power this block, you're actually going to power with the redstone dust using that block. So this one will actually power this block, which will power the repeater, which will power this block, which will turn that off, which will allow that thing to work. Okay, so now, like I was talking about with this comparator here, you need to have a, a signal that will turn it on once it gets to 22 items. So you're going to go ahead and put in another hopper directly into the, uh, the, uh, the wall there, whatever. You don't want it leading into this hopper because it actually won't work that way. Um, if it's not directly connected to it, then then this thing will actually uh, turn it off. If it is directly connected to it, um, that won't it won't work. It'll, it'll just start flowing down there. So that needs to be facing into the wall there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that with both of those. So you're going to be putting your 21 blocks in here. So you can use whatever unique blocks that are not going to go through your system. And if you want to use beacons, I guess it's a weird flex, but you do you. And then go ahead and put your 22nd item in there. So this block now with that comparator. So we're going to uh, do that is you're going to see that it has a, a very weak signal to it. So that turned on. So that means there's a little signal and you put your redstone dust. If I can grab the right one right there, that one is powered. But if you put one more item in here, it's going to power this block, which will power that, which will turn this off, which will open that one up to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try to position myself so you can actually see go up a little higher. So you can actually see this uh, redstone torch and this block right here. If I put one more cactus in there, you are going to see this turn on this one turn off. And then a cactus is going to end up in the hopper right below there. So let's just do that. So you see that real quick there? Now there's a cactus right here. So it, it turns it off just enough for one item to change through there. Now, if you put one more cactus in there, it's actually going to turn it off. And one item, the cactus that's in there is going to go into that chest. And the extra cactus that's in this one is going to go down into here. And it's going to shut off again. So let's go ahead and see that one more time here. You see it flick real quick there. And now there's a cactus in the chest, there's a cactus in this hopper, and there's still 22 items in this one. That is it. That is the entire reason these things work. Now, in order to get uh, your items over here, what you need to do is you need to put, um, a lot of people put a, just a whatever block there around their thing, and you're going to put hopper facing into that block and another one facing into the, this block. This one doesn't have to be facing that way. This one doesn't either. They can all be, because it's the end of the line, they can just go straight down in there, because whatever item gets past this filter is just going to end up in here. So you can just put whatever you want to in this one. Let me just put a stair. It's going to pop in in this one over here. Okay. It will not pop in there unless it's either a beacon, which is going to mess up your sorting. So that's why you want to make sure it's something unique or this cactus that I've got in there already. That's what I've got it set up to find. So let's go ahead and put a couple of cactuses in there and then a couple of redstone dust in this one. And we'll see cactuses will end up here and redstone dust will end up here. Okay. That's, that's it. All you need to do is uh, get a line in this way, and then so it's going to go in here, and I, I guess I should explain how these work. So when it, an item goes into a hopper, it's going to decide where to go next. If there's a hopper or like a minecart hopper below it, it's actually going to pull it out the bottom first, 
And if it can't go down, it's going to go in the direction that this thing is facing. So when you hold uh, shift and you click on one of them, whoops, I was not flying. I thought I was. You click on it, you can actually see that it actually goes into the spot that you click on. Okay. So this one is going to try to go down, but it can't. So it's going to go over here. Once it gets in here, it's going to try to go down. Since it's being filtered out, if it's a cactus or a beacon, it's going to go down there. If not, it's going to go over to this one. And this one is just going to go down and doesn't have anywhere else to go. And it's just going to go right down there. That one's not being stopped at all. So that's why anything else goes into that one. And if you want to make this longer and do a whole bunch more, all you got to do is just keep putting these in here. These are just tileable one wide. Um, and then you just have an input chest like we got right over here. It just goes into this hopper. You can have this input chest come all the way around here if you want to. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can just put your chest up there. And now that's the input chest. So we'll just put... Um, We'll do those in there, those in there, those in there, and some of those, and we'll see what we get. So this one is just going to, oh, that's right, because that one was cactuses. See, I have cactus filtering this one out, so it actually just screwed that up. So now it's going to have 19, so I've got to actually get rid of all but one of these, right quicker that way, and then put that back in there. And I don't think it's, it's supposed to be torches, isn't it? Yep, there you go. See, I broke it because I had cactuses as the unique item that was never going to go in there. I put beacons on this one. That's why it screwed me up. So the cactus ended up down there because I did it wrong. See, that's, that's how easy you can mess stuff up if you, if you put something in there that um, doesn't get filtered out. All right, but everything else just ends up in there. Now if I put, um, let's say, hoppers in here, it's going to end up in that last one. Let's just put a whole stack of hoppers and watch them come in. Yep, there they go. They're not going in this one or this one at all because it's filtered into the last one here. Okay, I hope my explanation of how these work has helped you and taught you something, and now you can uh, design these and you'll remember how to do them. You won't have to keep looking up tutorial videos like I used to when I was first building these. But if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.